Then we have something called biconditional statements. So what this is is when a it is when a conditional statement and its converse are both true. And if you recall converse that is q then p. So it happens if if p then q is true and if q then p is true. So in words I would say p if and only if q. So my hypothesis if and only if my conclusion. And in symbols we would have an arrow facing both directions. And so we can only have a biconditional statement if it is true both ways. So that means if I go from the hypothesis to the conclusion, it's true. And if I go backwards, it's true. So like from our previous example, this could not be written as a biconditional statement because it was true the one direction for my conditional. But when I went to the converse, if you are a musician, then you are a guitar player, that wasn't true. So this one would not be a biconditional. So let's go ahead and look at some examples. So I want to rewrite the following definitions as biconditional statements. Any definition can be written as a biconditional. So for this first one, it says if two lines intersect to form a right angle, then they are perpendicular lines. So I have my P, then I have my Q. And so to write my biconditional, all I'm going to take is the hypothesis. In the middle, I'm going to write if and only if, and then I'm going to write my conclusion at the end. So that means for this, I want to say two lines intersect to form a right angle if and only if they are right are perpendicular lines. So if you notice, I took out the if and the, ne and the then. I don't write those in a biconditional statement. I just put only the hypothesis in the beginning. I write if and only if, and then just the conclusion at the end. OK, let's look at this next one. So this one says, a right angle has a measure of 90 degrees. So I'm going to write right angle as my hypothesis and then has a measure of 90 degrees as my conclusion. And so to write that as a biconditional, I can say, well, an angle is a right angle. And then put if and only if. And then I'm going to write my conclusion. So if and only if it has a measure of 90 degrees. And with both of these, I could write it the other order as well. So I can say if an angle has a measure of 90 degree, an angle has a measure of 90 degrees if and only if it is a right angle. So I could go the other direction as well. Okay, go ahead and pause the video and try and do number three on your own. And so what you should have gotten was Mary is in theater class if and only if she is in the fall play. You could have also done that the other way around. You could say Mary is in the fall play if and only if she is in theater class. Either way works. Okay, that's it for today. If you want to look at some more examples, those are linked below. Otherwise, you can go ahead and move on to the discussion board. I hope you have a great day.